There's a lot of interest in nitrogen use efficiency, uh, but in fact it depends how you, you develop that metric to assess it. And what I mean by that is how do you know what efficiency means? We've just completed some surveys of farms in uh, Victoria and southern New South Wales and we saw that nitrogen use efficiency, that is the amount of grain nitrogen that's removed versus the amount of nitrogen that was applied or supplied, whether by legume or fertiliser, the number varied from 30%, that is, uh, 30% of the nitrogen applied was removed in the grain to 500%. So five times more nitrogen removed in the grain than was uh, present, than was supplied from fertiliser or from uh, legumes. Neither of those efficiencies are sustainable. In terms of a, a nutrient, sustain, nutrient efficiency sustainability, you know, somewhere around 100% is what we should be looking at, where removal is equal to supply. And obviously in terms of soil health, that means we're preserving soil organic material, which is where most of the nutrients become supplied from, particularly nitrogen. So aiming to measure your productivity versus your fertiliser use is a pretty good strategy for growers and then developing a target for your nutrient use efficiency or phosphorus use efficiency or whatever the nutrient is you're most concerned with. They're, way, they're, they're good metrics in the same way that water use efficiency is quite a useful uh, metric. The, the biggest nitrogen use efficiency is if you don't use any, which means you, get, you don't put on any fertiliser, you get a little bit of yield which is coming from the soil resource and really we want to preserve and improve the soil resource which is where fertilisers come in to help improve uh, soil fertility and build soil health through the strategic use of fertilisers. Within that broad spectrum of nitrogen use efficiency, you know, from the 0.3, no, 30% to the 500%, there are strategies you can use to help get the most out of the nitrogen that you would apply either uh, from pulse crops that use that supply it through mineralised organic fixed nitrogen then remineralised or by fertiliser uh, management and it all comes back to these three of the four R's that is making sure that the rate that you supply is appropriate to the yield target that you have and for a wheat crop let's say that's 40 kilograms of nitrogen per tonne of yield potential. For canola crop, it's about 80 kilograms of nitrogen per yield per tonne of yield potential. So there's a, there's a benchmark, if you like, for initial nitrogen supply. But then the way you supply that through the timing and the placement are also important. So the most efficient placement is in the soil at seeding. But that's the riskiest placement because that's the time at which, as we've said, you know least about the crop yield. But then the, the timing also extends to in-crop application. And so if with canola and wheat, in-crop application is uh, within limits as effective as early uh, application, or at seeding application. So again, the sort of rule of thumb is a, thir a third, a third, and maybe another third. So a third at seeding, a third um, at GS, at growth stage 30, start of stem elongation, and maybe another third in terms of meeting your yield potential.